hello guys yet another video so for this one we want to look at page events but for this one we want to be a little bit different than, than how we've been doing it so i have some several videos of page events here i have it in the patriot course but now for this one we want to look at page events with actual api so we don't want to now do our own page events we want to go ahead and do an api uh, request or basically a post so that's what we want so i have an api here so this is an api that uh, this is for kenyan developers but I don't know if you can use it for outside, but currently it's just for Kenyan developers. And what it does is just allows you to get some payments via uh, MPESA. You can send emails. You can also get paid via PayPal. So this is my application right now. So what I want to do is uh, I've created an account, and this is my account. So what I want to do is go ahead and take this API key. So I'm going to change this API key after this. So this one will not be any useful in the future so i have this api key and my username and i want to now simulate an invoice so i want to simulate an invoice when i have made a delivery so i want to send an invoice to this guy that is going to be holding the amount the amount paid and i want to send this invoice from this invoice that i'm going email that i'm going to be entering here so the email i will enter here is going to be sent the email the invoice is going to be sent to this email so that's generally what i want to do so let's go ahead and go to my uh, code. So we have the code that does the invoice here. So I'm just going to fetch that code, so which is this said invoice. So I'm just going to go to where we have, and I'm going to select PHP call. So I want it to be in uh, call request. So I'm just going to copy this. All right, so let's go back to my code. Let's go to page events. But generally, what I want to do is go to pages here and expand this so that I can see what I'm doing. And let's go to my delivery add before add. So I want to handle this before add, before adding the request. So let me go ahead and paste this here. And remember, we have this opening. We don't really need this. So close it. So we have some things that we need here. We need the API key. Alright, so I'm just going to go to my uh, application here and copy this API key. Alright, so these some I'm not really like, restricting you to just this API. So every API that needs an API key, this is generally what you are going to do. Just take the code that handles your business, paste it here, and do it. So I'm just going to show you how we do this. Now the username, we also want the username. So the username is this code guy. So I'm just going to come here and take that API key. So I'm just going to paste it there. Now the amount, we want the amount to come from this table here. Now remember we use model data. Alright, so we're going to copy this model data and put it here. So I'm just going to uh, add this here. And we are also going to add this. Add that and post it here. Now the model data is just generally going to be the name which we want, so the amount, All right? So uh, we need to copy. So we're not adding here. So this generate the name, the amount. All right. So the amount should be here. So this is going to be amount paid. So we're getting it from this uh, here, from this deriver table. Now the invoice number, we don't have that, but we can use, instead of the invoice number, we are going to be using the one that we created, which is called the tracking number. So on the left, you'll notice we have the tracking number. So the, for the invoice number, we have the tracking number. So for this one, we're just going to come here, paste this here and get the invoice number there so this is what we are sorry but the tracking number so that is that will be the invoice number now the deliver the description can be because this is uh specifically for this is just specifically for this uh parcel delivery app we can make it static so we can say uh, please make payment for the parcel 
you send good so the customer email we are also going to make this dynamic so we want to get from if you look on the left you notice at the bottom we have the user email so we want to make this user email like that now the phone number should also be a sender phone so you want the sender phone the name the name of the customer should be this sender name all right so you have to keep something in mind that there might be errors with our code so for this we always do a val dump so let's say val dump so what this one does is it gets uh, the response so it will get the response and then we exit okay so this exit basically means don't add this if there's an x then there's an error don't add this record to php or the database if there's an error instead exit and show me the error so that's what we want to do so let's preview this so in case we experience some errors with our code we should be able to do to the to see the error so let's go and try and add a record so i'm going to pause and come when i've added a record. all right guys so i've added some data here so we want to send an email to my to my email so it's going to be add with honor at gmail dot com so i want to whenever that we have whenever you click on send here i want to uh, display the code that uh, to see the error if there's an error or there's a response i want to see the, the result so if i submit this the code will not be added but instead what we are going to get uh what we are going to get will be uh the response of the code that we just added so if there's an error we get it so here we get a response of true and this, it's a success so invoice will be sent to the customer email with payment so as you can see everything is working just fine so now we can just go ahead and enable our code to be able to execute uh, here. So we want to now remove, because we are sure our code has no errors, we want to now remove this file dump and the exit and say OK. So we should reload these pages. So from here, we should be able to go ahead and just add that uh, record to our database. Good okay so let's come to our delivery here so if i go ahead and check my email i'll i'll expect to be seeing some data for whatever that we have just done so i expect to see that the api okay guys so we expected that the api actually worked so this is the response i got in my email from the api remember i sent an email of this amount to my uh, code so we get at uh, the invoice number uh the payment the one we just made said uh, please make payment to your parcel and the customer number and the name of the customer and the time it was sent so if i click on pay now here i should be taken to a place where i should be able to make a payment so if you're in kenya and you're seeing this uh, this you can actually use this for your application and it will actually just work now in case your uh your your model payment is in uh shillings you're not going to get the option to make the paypal payment but if it's in uh, uh, cash or um, pesa then you get this available here for your payments so that would be it so uh, i'll make this uh, as short as possible and hopefully you have seen how you can actually make a page event inside your uh, inside your code or your all your app so that one is just going to be sending your request or basically posting some data to your app and that will be it so always remember to save your project now that will be it for the next one you're going to be altering some forms and making some cool stuff in there and also making some if statements so see you in the next one